All right. Hello, everybody. This is Zaxter99. Today, with it being Thanksgiving weekend, we just got out of Black Friday. A lot of crazy people in the malls and the shopping stores, the parking lots, and the roads. Figured it was a good time to go ahead and talk about some of the drivers out there on the roads that piss me off, to be quite frank. These are the guys that are super aggressive. They have no consideration for other drivers on the road. These are the guys that always seem to annoy the hell out of me. And even though I'm a pretty passive driver now that I'm getting older, pretty much stay within the speed limits, maybe up to five miles an hour over in most situations. Uh, there's those drivers out there that seem like they're always rushed, they're always running late, whatever it is. They're in a hurry to get wherever they're going. They have no consideration for other drivers on the road. And I want to talk about a few of those guys in this video that just piss me off and take me from a happy moment driving to have me urgh, just almost give me road rage beyond no other. You guys will probably see some of my road rage when I remember some of these guys. And, uh, and I, as, I, as I talk about them, you'll, you'll kind of see. So, I also want to see what you guys think. If these same kind of drivers annoy you guys, maybe you guys drive like this. Maybe you guys are the, you know, the drivers that piss me off. If so, put it down in the comments below. Let me know why you drive like this. You know, or if you agree with me and you, know, you can't stand these kind of drivers, let me know as well. Put it down in the comments. Let's go ahead and have some uh, heated discussions down in the comments on this video. Be sure you give me a thumbs up as well. Uh, be sure you also subscribe to my videos as well right up here in the top right. You can subscribe to me that way you know anytime I have a new video. I do all kinds of random stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and I've drawn some cars here and I've drawn this road here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and now put my car here. And let's just say here I'm on a, on a two-lane road and I'm driving. Okay. And let's go ahead and say that as well. We have some other cars here. Let's say that both lanes are going this way, right? And it's there's a wreck or there's some kind of problem up here. And what's happening is there is a lot of people on the road, right? So we got, you know, the bumper to bumper kind of traffic. It's kind of crawling along, right? And you get this sometimes when there's a wreck or when there's an accident or something's happened. Maybe there's a wreck on the right-hand side of the lane and everybody's having to merge over into one lane and it's causing slowdowns, especially during the busy times when, you know, going to work, coming home, traffic, that kind of thing. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a red truck to be the jerk-off all the time that pisses me off. Red's a good color for that, right? So let's go ahead and have him here. And this is the guy that just really pisses me off beyond no other. And I'm sure you guys have had this happen. You're just kind of, you know, going along with the speed of the the traffic I mean everybody's going getting slowed down there's no really any way around it it's nobody's fault it's not this guy my fault you know in front of me's fault and you can see the line of traffic I mean you can see that there's a huge line both lanes are slowed down and you still follow at a safe distance you know but then you have this guy that comes up honk 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 and he gets right up on your butt honk 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 and he acts like it's your fault that there's this mess a mile or two miles up the road or wherever it is. You know, this is the kind of guy that thinks that so narrow-minded, he thinks it's the guy in front of him, the guy directly in front of him, it's, it's, it's my fault. Or what he tries to do is push me up by going up the, the here. He's thinks, trying to make me get up here on this guy's ass and be a complete jackass like him because, oh, my God, that's going to save him so much time by being here or being back here. By being a complete dick, he's actually, you know, if he gets his way and I move up here and piss this guy off, oh, maybe that'll piss this guy off. And now we got this like this. This guy's really not saving a whole lot of time. He saved five seconds. And now look at this. If we have to stop suddenly, er, this guy stops. Crash, crash, crash. All for this guy to be a complete jackass. No. Keep following at a safe distance. Don't let this dick wad here, you know get his way and try to make you go faster because you're really not going to go anywhere anyway. I mean, you're just going to go up here. But, nope, this guy's going to come up honk, honk, honk and act like it's all your fault and act like you're the reason that this whole mess is way up here. You know, way up here somewhere. So, that's driver number one that just infuriates the living hell out of me. Okay? So then, let's go ahead and talk about 
driver two that just pisses me off beyond no other. Okay. Go ahead and delete this guy. And we'll go ahead and delete this guy. And go ahead and set up a situation here. And this is about right. You're just going along and traffic is buzzing along on a freeway or whatever. And you get, again, douchebag here is going to come up. And you're on, you know, in the slower lane here. And he's going to come up and he's going to whoosh. And he's, this is a guy that changes lanes, right, back and forth. And he comes back narrowly missing other cars by, like, inches to try to get in front of everybody. Boom. And, you know, and he barely misses you. A lot of times they don't use their blinker. But if they, even if they do, they put on their blinkers the very last second and act like that gives them the right to just cut right in front of you like that. This is the kind of driver that also is a super aggressive driver, has no respect for other drivers on the road, um, cuts right in front of them to try to, you know, get up here and save time. And what happens is, you know, a lot of times I, I kind of laugh inside after this kind of a guy pisses everybody off on the road by doing this. And you'll come up and this guy will end up, you know, a mile, mile or two down the road, this guy will end up turning off and, you know, this guy will end up turning or whatever. And you'll come up here a lot of times, two or three miles later, and this guy will be a red light or whatever, or to, you know, an exit or whatever. And you'll come up and you'll be like, oh, wow. And you'll pull up right behind him at the red light. And you'll be like, wow, you saved yourself a lot of time. You saved, what, five seconds by being a complete douchebag and weaving in and out of traffic? You know, nearly 30 different accidents as you squeezed by, you know, barely squeezed by their bumper. You know, these aggressive drivers, they're really not saving as much time as they think. And they cause a lot of accidents. And the reason these guys piss me off so much is because it's these guys here that cause my insurance to be, you know, double, triple what it should be. It's all these guys here that cause all these accidents by driving so aggressively, not having any care or respect for anybody else on the road. They think they're the only ones on the road. And these are the kind of guys that cause all our insurance rates to be so damn high because these are the guys that get in the accidents all the time or cause accidents. <sighs> Can you tell I'm a little bit agitated already just talking about these guys? Well, let's go ahead and go to a different situation, put up a different road that I've drawn and talk about the next guy that pisses me off. Again, it's going to be a red truck. <laughs> Nope, I don't want to save it. Let's go ahead and bring up this situation where we have a freeway and we have the entrance to the freeway and they have the signs that always on the, the entrances to the freeway. There's always merge signs warning these guys to slow down and merge, right? But what we have here is we have little old me and I'm driving along here and... We also have other traffic driving along here. And, of course, we got our jackass. And guess where he's at? You guys already know. He's coming in here. Now, on the entrance to freeways or major roads, there's always merge signs. And what it means is these guys are supposed to not stop because this guy might have, you know, this guy might have a, a, a car behind him, right? He might have a car following safely behind him. So he can't just stop, obviously, and, you know, wait. But what you, what you want to do is you want to look at the traffic. You buy about, about right here, you need to start looking back and looking at the traffic and judging where, you know, where you need to go to fit in. So a lot of times what these guys do, though, is instead of speeding up or slowing down enough to let this guy in, a lot of times what happens to me is these guys come on and it's almost like they're trying to hit me. Right? Or they're just trying to nearly, again, trying to squeak in right in front of me and make me, you know, make me slam on my brakes or slow down. And then we got other cars behind me, right, having to screech to a halt. All because this guy didn't merge. This guy, right, right in front of you, plows it disrespectfully right in front of you, like you're the ones that's supposed to merge and stop for him. These guys piss me off beyond no other because, I mean, you're... A lot of these guys on the freeway got their, you know, I don't. I don't use my uh, cruise control, but a lot of people do use their cruise control on the freeway in the interstates. You know, you could have guys sitting here have their cruise control set at 70 miles an hour or whatever, and now they have to turn off their cruise control and slow down for this jackass coming in merging, thinking he's got the right-of-way, and he's just barely entering the freeway. This guy here is another super aggressive driver that doesn't want to look, too lazy to turn their head, whatever it is. A lot of times, if you look at these guys, they never even turn to look at the, the traffic here. They just got their head straight, they got their eyes straight ahead on the road. All they worry about is themselves. 
they don't give a damn if they cut right in front of you and make you have to slow down or stop or if you even you know cause a wreck a, a car to pile into you because you had to slow down for them nope they're just worried about getting where they're going they don't even look and this is the guy that can infuriate the hell out of me as well and I'm sure you guys have seen this as well so this is number three um, let me know guys which one agitates you down below I'm gonna go ahead and give you about five of these guys that piss me off I want you guys to tell me you know obviously con assuming that you drive and you're not a kid or whatever which guy is the guy that pisses you off the most one two three four or five now again to remind you uh, one was the guy that you know gets gets behind you and in traffic in a traffic jam and you know tries to push you forward basically gets right up on your ass and maybe even honks at you to try acting like it's your fault that there's a million cars in front of you that's number one right number two was the guy that weaves in you know primarily a lot of times narrowly missing bumpers by inches to weave in and out of traffic a lot you know sometimes they use their blinkers but sometimes sometimes they don't but a lot of times when they do use their blinkers it's like way too late they turn it on as they're cutting in front of you or whatever so the weaver is number two and this guy I'm gonna I'm gonna call the non-merging eye straight ahead you know penis wrinkle um, that's what I'm gonna call him he's just a freaking jackass that doesn't merge so he's a non-merging a-hole and that's number three okay so now let's go ahead and bring up another situation here and this one is number four and we'll call this the four-way stop so it's easy to remember so let's go ahead and put our car here oops go ahead and grab this we're gonna be flipped around on this one so we're gonna go ahead and put our car right here at a stop sign the stop sign is facing us we're coming to a stop and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab a couple of top views here for cars parked at these other two stop signs so this guy's here this is just kind of a top view and this guy's here at his stop sign here so let's say you pulled in first right and then this guy pulls in at his stop sign and this guy pulls in at his stop sign and guess who's coming now on the other on the other way the one blank yep you got you got your jackass coming along here and he's last he should be stopping right and waiting his turn but does he no you're, it should be your turn to go right because you stop first you're waiting on traffic this guy stops this guy stops and these guys know it's your turn and what's this guy do doesn't even stop a lot of times he's just like and turns right in front of this car maybe turns right in front of you if you start to go and we've all seen this guy and you can even look at these two guys after this guy's already long gone and these drivers are like putting their hands out and shrugging their shoulders like you know what a jackass a lot of times you see that but there's always this guy that even they either doesn't stops and doesn't wait his turn or just plows through and plows through traffic again oops I got two of them now we definitely don't want two of those guys on the road we have enough already but anyway that's another guy the guy that doesn't wait his turn at four-way stop signs or completely uh, ignores it now it's one thing if there's no other cars here waiting their turn you know if you want to run the stop sign and risk getting a ticket yourself that's fine but don't you know don't cut other people off and disrespect their turn in line they were waiting there longer than you uh, who's to say that this guy this guy thinks that whatever he's doing whatever store he's going to whatever he's doing is more important than this guy you know and it's always it's always that way it's these aggressive drivers that think they're the only guy on the road they're the only one in the world and they have no respect for anybody else's time nobody else's car nobody else's it's just it's annoying you know follow the rules of the road there there these stop signs were placed here and the rules are established that you know a car waits until their turn these rules and laws are established to help avoid accidents right but to help make peace among the drivers and and make the road safer but you always have these knuckleheads you know that drive too aggressively that uh, you know that have no consideration for other guys on the road so that's number four and we're going to go ahead and bring up number five here. This one is when you have a freeway or an interstate that has more than one lane. So we're going to go ahead again and grab our car. And we'll say we're in the lane here. It doesn't really matter where we're at in this one. Right? We're going to go ahead and grab all the other traffic here. It's not us. And we'll just go ahead and put some other cars out here right and we'll put him back here I don't know but this guy is the guy that you see oops not him gotta have the red guy here 
this is the guy here that you notice doing this, right? You notice him coming up, and maybe he's, maybe you're coming up on it, or maybe you're right here. It doesn't matter really where you're at, but this is the guy that does this. This is the guy that, a lot of times, maybe they turn on their blinker, who knows, maybe they don't, but this is the guy that seems to be in this lane. Maybe he's done that because he was weaving in and out of traffic, probably so, right? And he gets up here to you, and you're supposed to, when you, when you change lanes, you're supposed to turn on your signal, you know, a few seconds ahead of time, and then merge in. Then stay in this lane, and if you want to switch lanes again, go ahead and turn on your signal again, and then switch lanes. But what you see cars do all the time on these big lane freeways is they'll just go, right? They'll just cut all lanes at once, and they think maybe if they turn on their signal way back here that this guy has seen his t turn signal. You know, how's this guy seen his turn signal way back here? But he says, well, that's okay, and he merges all the way in over here because he's got to get off of this exit, or maybe he's just doing it to pass or whatever. But this is the guy, either way, it can work either way. You know, this guy could be doing it here. And then, a lot of times, this is what you see. They'll be over here because they want to be in the faster lane, and the exit's up here coming up. So at the very last minute, they'll merge all the way over to the exit lane, right in front of cars, right? And they won't give a damn about the cars in front of them. They'll just, you know, plow right in front of them so that they can get off at the very last minute and get off the freeway. But this is the, this is the multi lane changer all at once you know the swerving freaking douchebag that you know risks accidents with three cars or whatever and acts like this guy up here was supposed to have seen his turn signal when he turned on back here you see this all the time too super annoying so i want to know that's number five I want to know what you guys think which guy is the most annoying which guy infuriates you the most maybe none of these guys infuriate you maybe you're just cool no matter what maybe none of these guys ever tiss, piss you off but I'm telling you, if you drive as much as I do, after you've seen this as much as I do, uh, after a while, it starts to get super infuriating to just see this stuff. You know, a lot of times if, you, uh, if you're thinking about something or, you know, you get used to it or whatever, maybe it doesn't bother you as much. But I'm telling you, I don't know how you guys can ignore this when these guys cut right in front of you by inches or whatever. You know, uh, I don't know how that doesn't get on your nerves. Because it's these kind of guys, and it seems like they all have something in common. They're all going too fast. They're in too big of a hurry. And the main thing they have in common is they just have no respect for other drivers on the road. But let me know in the comments below which kind of driver upsets you the most, which kind of guy pisses you off the most. And maybe you're one of the guys that does one of these things all the time, and you think nothing of it, or maybe you think it's funny or whatever. Also, put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Just be honest about it. Also, be sure you guys give me a thumbs up on this video. If you like my video, be sure you subscribe, like I said, and be sure you leave those comments down below. Thanks for watching my infuriating drivers uh, part one. So if I get enough comments and views on this, I'll definitely, you know, maybe put your suggestions for other guys that piss you off on the road that maybe I forgot about. Maybe they'll make it into my part two if and when I make one. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Zach's 99. Take care. Drive safe.